What is up guys and welcome to another MECQ edition of Takeout Take Thursday. Thursday! God, it feels so much like wow. that What's Up Philippines <laughs> thing, <know>. right? <laughs> Guys, today we have a very special takeout Thursday because it is a dish that we both really love but mm -hmm. haven't had in a very long time. And also, what we're gonna eat today is connected to a lot of positive memories. Good traveling memories. Good. Today we are trying chicken in a salad. And while we are at it, we are going to have the ultimate face off today. We have Aida's chicken and Bacolod chicken inner cell. Both really, really, deli uh, really delicious chicken inner cell, but let's see who will win. Yes, we had the best chicken inner cell ever when we were on our trip in Bacolod and we actually tried, did we try Bacolod chicken inner cell? No, no, we tried Aida's. Aida. Yeah. yeah. And Aida's has been recognized, the video we did at Aida's was recognized by the Guinness Book of Records for the video that has the most chicken ass comments. <laughs> I knew it, I knew this is great to have. We, we met some new friends there and they took us to Aida's and she's like, chicken ass is life. Chicken ass is life. And people were like commenting, oh my God, this woman loves chicken ass. I have to bleep that ass out, right? Although you can make it sound like we, we say as. 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 <laughs> anyway, uh, Aida's chicken in Bacolod was absolutely amazing and we, we've been wanting to try it here in Manila for quite some time already. Yep. And both these baggies um, costed around 400 pesos each. Really, really inexpensive. So going just by weight, this is enough to feed like 10 people. I thought yeah. the prices were so cheap, I thought it's going to be like a teeny weeny in petite portion, but it seems... Petite. <laughs> seems to be uh, seems to be a lot. So let's get to the unbagging. So we're starting with the bacolo chicken in a salt. Ooh, on brand. Oh wow. Ka on ta. Oh, is that um, in? Yeah. That's in the uh, Negres. Negres. Ilongo. Isn't the the dialect Ilongo? Oh, I thought it's something Negres. Oh, Nelly. Wee! Chicken skin! I didn't, tell, I didn't tell you that I ordered this for you. Wee! Is it crispy? Still crispy? No, it's not. But maybe we can put it in the oven. Yeah. Crisp it back up again. Yeah. Bring life back into it. Yeah, there's one thing I've noticed over the past few days that is a little bit disappointing. But I guess it makes sense. Grab drivers are going to two different locations before they bring your food. So before you'd order and then bring the food to your home. Now they pick up two or three orders from different restaurants, deliver it to two or three locations, which yeah. means the food arrives here much later than it would usually. Yeah. Which probably environmentally friendly and makes more sense during a community quarantine, but yeah. it's a little bit annoying if you get certain dishes that are just not as fresh as they should be. Yeah, this is chicken skin and it's just it's just fried chicken skin and it tastes deli delicious with some vinegar and just some salt on it. And uh, it brings back a lot of uh, childhood memories for me. Oh, all righty. I see some calamansi. I see some nicely charred chicken. I see some rice. And maybe we have some chicken fat here. Mm, oh no, it's looks a... like soy sauce. So here in the Aida box, we have some rice. We have the little soy sauce vinegar sausage thingy. <laughs> then we have. Yes. Whee. That looks. Oh, that looks and smells awesome. Oh, here we have some salad with some. That looks like. That looks like salted egg here. Ooh. And then we have. Oh my god, this is what was so heavy. And it's still totally hot. This is the Sinigan. That was only like 140 pesos and it's like a huge thing. So I don't know if I mentioned, but I took from both, I took the breast because mm -hmm. I just wanted a little bit more meat. I know in the Philippines, people love to have more like the pa or the pak pak, which is the leg and the wing. Mm -hmm. I'm a breast guy. <laughs> <laughs> so the difference is this, Aida's breast looks much bigger than uh, this one here. 
They both look very charred. This one looks like it was a bigger breast and just butterflied. Whereas this one was a smaller breast and just cut through a little bit. Both have like a winglet on it. This one came with a little bit of the um, papaya salad, which is a nice addition. Mm -hmm. I'm missing the chicken fat. Yeah, where is it? No chicken fat. Oh. Nope, this is vinegar soy sauce, no chicken fat. Damn it. Okay, <laughs> it's not panic. So here there's rice in the package. Here the rice was extra. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, price-wise, they were very similar. But looking at everything on the table, I think Aida's was a much better deal because look at this huge Sinegan that we yeah, bought. Yeah, we And the bigger Sinigan. chicken. Sinegan. And the bigger rice. Uh, is it that, that much bigger, the rice? A little bit. Okay. And it, and here we just had this and the chicken skins, mm. which we're trying to bring back to life in the oven. Yeah. So let's let's dig in. Okay. I'm so hungry. So when I was ordering, I in no way had plans to order a Sinigan, but you know me, if I see Sinigan on the menu, yeah, I'm gonna order it. So we have some okra in the Sinigan. We have some tomato, chicken. Um, I think I can spot some taro leaves. Eggplant. Eggplant. I think this is some kind of radish. What? Sinigan taste test. Ooh. Ooh. Nice and sour. Mm. Very flavorful. Mm. This is like a proper chicken broth. Because mm -hmm. you can see like the chicken fat. Yeah, you can see the, you can see the chicken fat on top. Mm. Very flavorful. Mm. Nice and salty. And sour. sour. Mm. Like from one to ten in terms of Sinigan, what mm. would you say? I would say eight. Mm. Yeah. yeah, me too. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Wow, this is perfect. Perfect for rainy weather. Yeah. It's still very gloomy. It's rainy season here in the Philippines. Mm. So I feel like we needed a, a nice hearty soup. Yeah. Just to it's weird how get a little bit warm. <laughs> I mean, outside it's 35 degrees, but you said inside the apartment you kind of see the clouds. Yeah. And you feel like, oh, it's winter outside. It's cold. Let me get a jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it warms the heart. Yeah. For sure. Mm. By the way, guys, let us know how is your MECQ going. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope everybody's safe and sane at home. I actually just got up from a nap. <laughs> <laughs> because what else would you do yeah. during quarantine? <laughs> so I, I get my work done and then I just take a nap. <laughs> okay, we have some really, really good news. We were able to bring back the crispiness to the chicken skin. Yeah. Yes, and it got even a little bit more browner. Ooh. But as, as you can yeah. hear. That is a good sign. Okay. It's just crunchy? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, we have some um, vinegar here. Just dip it in the vinegar. Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. So this is, this is not really filling, but it's full filling. Mm. <laughs> also, I really love that in the Philippines, people are using up all of the items of the chicken. Nothing goes to waste. I think now it's time for the stars of the show. My chicken doesn't go that way, lady. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna tear some of this. This is Aida's chicken I have here. Yeah. I hope she isn't angry for taking her chicken. Oh, wow. Oh, this chicken fat on that. Oh, but this is not Aida's. That's not Aida's. You want to give the rice a try by itself mm -hmm. first? Yeah. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep, chicken fat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first one is the bacolod chicken that we're going to try. Bacolod chicken in a salt. Take this. There you go. Let's try. Just... Flavorful. Very flavorful. Tender. Mm -hmm. A little bit on the dry side. Mm, agree, but delicious. Delicious. Mm. 
I made some Filipino breakfast the other day and I saw a lot of comments that I forgot the vinegar. Mm. Also the soy sauce. Huge mistake. <laughs> I feel very ashamed. So now? Now? Aidas. Aidas. Okay, so this one already looks a little bit juicier just from how it looks. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, there's some fat in the bottom of oh, the yeah, 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 I'm gonna yeah. dip my chicken on this fat. And as you can see, it's really nicely charred. Yeah. Oh. All right. Do this. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. This is super juicy. Mm hmm. This is super juicy. I feel like I need some rice with it. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Super tender. Juicy, but flavor-wise. A little bit less flavorful. Mm hmm I Oh agree. my, it's a... I believe it's a Thai. No. No? It's not Thai food, it's Philippine food. Okay, I do have to admit that I miss the chicken fat. Yeah. That we had in Bacolod. So when we ordered it in Bacolod, we got this like huge chicken fat dispenser and we just like drizzling the chicken in it so, uh, it, it was so good if you guys haven't seen that video it'll pop up right here i think it's really hard to say which one was better i agree so i think like flavor wise definitely yeah, like the, the spices color. this one wins but texture wise i eat it juicy 100%. wise yeah juicy wise. I, I think if i, I have to juicy chicken yeah, if I have to choose, I'd rather take a little bit less flavorful, but like tender, juicy, yeah. um, than have a dry but very flavorful. But overall, the flavor package of the Bacolod one was better. Yeah. It, it was just a little bit more intense on the flavor side. Also, I like also the liked rice the rice yeah. more. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're in full agreement. Okay, we can oh, end the video. Cool. Bye, guys. All right, bye. <laughs> 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 uh, but both really, really great. our take out Thursday for today. What um, are we having for dessert? Nothing. <laughs> We're on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> if you missed the other videos, we created a whole playlist about our take out Thursdays, uh, so check it out here. Also, we'd like to know which one of the takeout Thursdays did you enjoy the most? Mm -hmm. Which dishes have you tried from the past? Dishes? That dishes? Oh, okay. Which dishes <laughs> that we've tried in the past have you tried at home? Which once did you order, give it a try, let us know in the comments and below what your thoughts were, how you liked it. And leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know what should we try next week. I'm aiming for some Korean food maybe, Ooh. maybe some Japanese food. Ooh, I'm just gonna say ooh to anything. <laughs> maybe <But> some... <clears throat> it, no. <laughs> By the way guys, I am very close to my goal of hitting 100k on Instagram, mm. which means I'll be singing the Filipino song and playing it on my guitar if we make it by the end of August. So head on over to Making It Happen Vlog and Lily's Life Underline Underline on Instagram, but more importantly, Making It Happen Vlog. <laughs> That's where you'll get the music from. The but I will the sing! The serenade. I will sing! I'm going to join you. If I, if I reach 100k, I'm going to sing. So it's teamwork, team effort. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. <laughs> Remember to stay awesome. Be positive. And make, make it, it happen. happen. Wow, I was able to snip with all that chicken fat on my fingers. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs>